Hi, I'm Kevin and this is Bot, your weekly hookup for what's happening in Tampa Bay. If you're interested in anything we talk about, click on the link below, right down there. Today I'm joined by Laura, who's going to help me tell you about... Five reasons to get off the couch this weekend. Number five. The longest running solo show in Broadway history is coming to the Tampa Bay Performing Arts Center, Defending the Caveman. It starts tonight and runs through Sunday. Tickets are only $39.50. Number four. Do you have $72,135 on you? Nope. Well, then you can't go see Anita Baker, who's playing Ruth Eckert Hall Friday night, and that's what the tickets cost. Why should kids have all the Christmas fun? You can get your pet's picture with Santa Sunday at Hyde Park Village, noon to four. Everything is coming up roses Sunday at Ruth Eckert Hall. There'll be two showings of Gypsy. One's at two, one's at seven. Tickets range from 47 to 67. Dollars. It's ice skating in Florida every night, Thursday night through Sunday night until December 23rd. That's right, it's at Straub Park in St. Petersburg. Have a simulated ice skating rink there. It costs you $5 to skate for 30 minutes. Springsteen was the boss, but then he lost the toss to Curtis Ross. Music, music. The music of the clash had the power to change lives. Just look at bots on Kevin Walker, the dissolute headbanger facing a fast food future. He heard London calling and became the vibrant vodcast host he is today. The Clash's lead singer Joe Strummer knew a thing or two about reinvention himself. A diplomat's son who became a working class hero and a Woody Guthrie worshipping folky who became a punk rock icon. Julian Temple's film The Future is Unwritten explores Strummer's life. Listener-supported radio station WMNF brings the film to Tampa. It shows twice Saturday at the Beach Theater in St. Pete Beach at 7.30 and 9.50 p.m. Mike's camera! That movie was great! Mike, give it to me! That movie was lame! Get out of my frame! Movies, 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 movies. Well, I went to go see Will Smith in I Am Legend, expecting sort of Independence Day, maybe Men in Black, some fun, some thrills. I was wrong. That's not what it's like at all. You need to be warned. This is a very serious movie. Very solemn movie, a lot of Will Smith walking around by himself, the last survivor of a virus that's wiped out everyone. He's in New York City. When he's not scouring for food, he's battling blood-sucking freaks who come out at night. They're sort of like vampires, they're kind of like zombies. That part of the movie is kind of like a B-horror movie. The parts of Will Smith alone are more kind of like a speculative fiction movie. It never really decides what it wants to be. It never really gets off the ground. The guy sitting next to me in the screening, he actually fell asleep about an hour into the movie. Do you really need to know anymore? On Thursday night, skaters flock to United Skates of America Skate Rink on Armenia Avenue in West Tampa. Dubbed Adult Jam Skate, it's where the grown folks come to roll with their effortless crossovers and dipping low at the waist. Adult night attracts skaters from novices to seasoned rollers like Glenn Hayes, who has returned week after week for nearly 30 years. I love the skating, I love the, the, the freedom, the, the motion, the, the feel, the rhythm, the music, everything, the, the whole atmosphere. It's almost like uh, taking a drug, I mean you get, it's, you get hooked on it and I just fell in love with it, I can't put it down. Well for us, I mean it's something that we both have in common, uh, it's good exercise, uh, neither one of us uh, really uh, like the club scene. Coming to an adult session, a uh, skate session, is almost like going to a nightclub, except you don't have the alcohol, you don't have the cigarette smoke. It's a good, healthy way to have fun. With only $7 to get through the door, skaters rock custom wheels and pair up for synchronized routines, leaving life's daily stresses off the floor. From 9 to midnight, they show off their tricks for nearly three hours, keeping things moving. And get ready for next time. Reporting for TBO.com, I'm Sarah Hoy. All right, that's the show. I'm Kevin. I'm Laura. Thanks for joining us. We'll do it all again next week. And now here's your entertainment news wrap-up. Guess what happened to Trebek? Um, what is a mild heart attack? They fixed him up without much trouble. And he'll be back to do the Daily Double. Someone smiling up above. Cause everyone's back with a lot of love. They wowed the crowd with their guitars. And the critics gave them all five stars. Well, my rap is a dip and my beat's the bomb, and you can check more out at TBO.com.
Alu, 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 alu,